Welcome to Depression to Expression. My name is Scott. If you like mental health, if you're a procrastinator and you can't go to the gym because you like staying on the couch because it is a lot more comfortable and TV's a lot more fun and there's so much to watch on Netflix, so why exercise? If that sounds like you, stay tuned, subscribe, and watch this video. Okay, so I totally get it. I'm in the same boat as all of you. Exercise versus chillin'. Doing things that benefit our physical and mental health usually don't trump sitting on this beautiful couch and watching some awesome entertaining video or playing video games. I could think of a lot of things I would rather do than go to the gym and work out. Totally. And if you, you think the same, we're, we're on the same page, okay? But this perspective has really helped me get to the gym, do things I don't like doing for the benefit of my mental health. And it's same, this goes for anything. If you're trying to meditate, you can't find time to meditate. If you if you're supposed to go on a 30 minute walk every day, get your 10,000 steps in and you're not doing it and you keep delaying and you keep procrastinating and you keep saying, "Okay, next time." And there's a million reasons and excuses that that come up in your psyche. I've thought about something. Cuz what else do I do? I think all day and then I talk to people with my public speaking about mental health and then I make videos and I'm living a pretty awesome life. Trust me, I believe and I know that I'm extremely fortunate. So, I'm going to go to the gym right now. And what I think about is you need to have the end in mind before you start something. Does that make sense? So, why sit on the couch versus go to the gym? Why go to the gym? versus sit on the couch. What is the end result of doing both of these things? Now, I take that perspective, I think big. You know, I'm the type of guy who looks at the moon and I always think that we're in the middle of space floating on this rock and that actually gives me a sense of, of joy and contentment and peace. I'm like a big picture guy. I think of the big picture when it comes to these daily activities, this daily tedium. What's the end goal? My end goal to not work more and to go to the gym. What's the difference? Well, going to the gym is going to make me mentally well. It's going to make me feel better. What's working going to do? Now, this is where it always hits me so hard. That working more is going to give me more money. Okay. That's not the end goal. Now, what's more money going to give you? What's more Netflix going to give you? What's more sitting on the couch going to give you? Immediate pleasure, okay, but what's the end result? Okay, I'm going to be able to quote more movies by the end of it. Seriously, maybe I'll be able to talk to my coworkers a little more about Game of Thrones, even though it's over, I'm still on season two, right? What's sitting on the couch really going to do? It's maybe going to fuel loneliness and not let me get out in the world. Okay, the end result doesn't do much for you if you're sitting on the couch not doing much. With work, it's going to fuel you by giving me or you more money, okay? What am I going to do with more money? What's the purpose of money? I ask myself these questions. I wanna see where this trail goes. Okay, well, money is freedom. It will allow me to do more things. Well, what's it going to allow me to do? Well, if I work more, it's gonna allow me to focus on my health more. Hopefully, I don't need to work as much. So I'm gonna be going to the gym anyways, even if I have more money. If I have more money, well, that means I'll be able to do more social things. But I can do social things right now with the same amount of money and hang out with people and meet other human beings. Whether I work more or work less, the end result is going to be the same. I'm still going to need to and want to go to the gym and focus and prioritize my health. Whenever I follow that trail of thought with the end result, it's always going to end up, what can I do to better my own life? Where do I see myself in five years if after work every day I'm coming home and I'm watching TV? So I think of future Scott. I think of the end in mind. Future Scott would be pissed at past Scott if I spent all that time watching TV and not bettering my own physical health. Future Scott would be pissed. Think about the end in mind. Ask yourself these questions. See how deep you can get in that rabbit hole. That's what I think about all the time. So is the gym exciting right now? Do I really want to go? No. I would honestly rather work. 
I would rather watch TV. But again, what's the end result of that? What's the end result of that? I'm still going to want to focus on my health regardless and make time for myself and better my own mental health. The things that are free in this world are priceless and, and the most valuable. If I could watch Netflix all day, but I had to sacrifice my health for it. Well, that's kind of dumb. I'd choose health over Netflix. I would choose health literally over anything. What really matters to you? Family, health, relationships. Prioritize. Prioritize, right? I'm going to prioritize my health because I know that's what really matters. What are you prioritizing? And is that in line with your complete value system? If you're making so much time for TV, like what do you value so much about TV? Are you watching documentaries and you value new knowledge to then share with people? No, most likely you value the, th the same things I do, which is family, which is health, which is contentment and peace. What will bring you those things? Usually not that, and usually not that. So focus on the things that, that, that truly make your life worth living and make you a better person. Start with the end in mind. That helps me. Don't be afraid to ask yourself those hard questions and keep going deeper and deeper into your future and see, well, what would piss future you off knowing what you didn't do today? Stay strong, everyone. This is Scott from Depression to Expression. Subscribe, notification bell thing if you want more mental health videos. And if you live anywhere in the world and uh, go to school or are part of a business and wanna, wanna hear me speak, well, invite me over and send me an email. All links are in the description below. Take care.